All right, welcome back, um, and we're going to answer some questions about Tour de Five South. First one, Mike, mm -hmm. were you more excited about Brit's breakup than you let on? Uh, no. No? You were rocking 90% chub when you heard about that. Right, so you could tell that I was rocking a 90% chub, and so as a result, I wasn't putting on more than I was showing. All right, once chub entered the... The discussion we're going to move on. Truthfully, no. I mean, truthfully, it was, I could tell it was getting to a point where she was stressed out about it. It was nice to hear that she, you know, broke up with him. Marshall. Mm-hmm. Have any of your actions, i.e. throwing things at your residents' faces, etc. When did I do that? Uh, in at, that episode, yeah, you threw a sock at Brittany's face. She kind of leaned into it. But continue. Um, has that ever gotten you in trouble since the release of the series? No. No. Um, you know what? We're a reality show. We live on a dorm floor and camera crews follow us around. And I'm just trying to provide uh, a good show. You know? We need a snooky. We need a snooky to get hit. So, so then you're the guy that gets arrested for hitting snooky? Well, it's different here. Why? Because A, we're not in Jersey. And B, I get away with it. Danny B, where did you learn to do a stun chop? Funnily enough, I did not learn it from my sensei. I learned it from Uncle Benjamin. Um, there's a follow-up question. Shane, what did the stun chop feel like? It was like, um, okay, have you ever, um, okay, have you ever gotten so drunk that you blacked out? Well, one time I did while watching a Steven Seagal movie. It felt like what I imagine, um... Like, if someone just, like, hit you really hard right here. Like, I would imagine that. Okay. Take a second with me and imagine it. Can I do a follow-up to that? Yes. How long were you out for? Um, well, here's the thing. Uh, I would go for claims that I was out for about a minute and a half. But I tried to revive myself immediately after it uh, by taking four shots of Jaeger bombs um, uh, so, all told, I was out for 12 hours. Hmm. That's unusual. All right, Marshall. Yeah? What do you have against Jonathan Taylor Thomas? <sighs> when you love someone, and you live every day of your life caring for that person, and that person has eyes for someone else, I think it's very natural to feel some animosity towards that third person. Abigail. Here, also, he's, I think he's like four foot six, and people who are too short make me very nervous. That's a legitimate concern. That's understandable. Um, here is a question from Felix Trippier. Wow! How could you lose an octobong? Let me tell you. That room is the messiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of messy things, obviously, because I like to keep things neat. But despite the size of the octobong, it was it was camouflaged. There's a lot more tubes in our uh, in our room than uh, would be expected. Go for owns a hamster. I did a floor trip before uh, I lived with these people, and uh, we lost one of our residents. It was a short one, which is partially why I'm a little nervous around short people. I'm more nervous around short people because I went to Universal Studios and I went to the Van Helsing like. Uh, haunted house mm -hmm. and then i felt something tugging at my legs and it was a very short person dressed with a gas mask and then ran into like some pipe and then peered at me with like n night vision goggles that sounds like the girl we lost i didn't even know hmm. uh shane mm -hmm. well, what is the status of your relationship with Derek? uh facebook friends facebook official as friends um every once in a while will be uh like pen pals um Mostly, the relationship is going really strong. I'll be like, Hey, Derek, do you remember the time that we were friends? He'll be like, Oh, yeah, man, every day. I'll be like, oh, Listen, guy, you want to get some uh, pizza? He's like, No, yeah, you know, I want to it. I'll be like, What? Come on. And he'll be like, All right, just for you. And then I'll be like, oh, um. And then he'll be like, Oh, what? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, and I'll second that. And then, um, and then so we'll things pizza. are going well. Things are going really well. Marshall. Yes. When you say you go to a sick ass ramen shop with your bros, 
What bros are you talking about? It's called Oodles of Noodles of Noodles. And I usually go once or twice a week. Now, what bros are you talking about? I'm trying to answer a question, Danny B. You ask the question, I give an answer. That's how this thing works. That's what Clipso wants. I like the chicken ramen. Uh, it's very salty. Um, and I usually get it with green tea. Iced. With whom? Yeah, who do you go with? With you my said bros. green tea. Do you know that you know that reality show, The Osbournes? It was on a while ago. Do you know they have a third daughter? Uh, like another kid who didn't want to be a part of it? My bros don't want all the attention. They can't handle it. So I'm not allowed to tell their names. How many bros are there? Seventeen bros. All right. We have to call ahead for a reservation. Because these ramen shops, they're little. They're little, which makes me nervous. But we go for it. We go for it hard. Danny B., did you really have to go to the bank, or was that a lie? It wasn't a lie. I really did have to go to the bank. I may have fibbed saying that I needed to go early in the morning because my bank is open all day. What well, were you doing crazy, at the bank? Man, yeah. Yeah. I was depositing. Depositing what? Oh, okay. Ah. Very funny. Were you managing your Roth IRA? Ah. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Uh, were, um, were, did you have to make a deposit? Yes, I said so. Oh, well. Did All you? Right. Hey, did you withdraw in time? Hey, um, how many quarters in a dollar? Four. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Marshall, did you know Emily was there in the uh, tour group from the beginning? I did, yeah. We actually spoke on the phone about it before before it happened. So you, you set it up? Whole thing. I didn't set it up. I just helped set it up. Mike. Mm-hmm. Have you heard anything more about your brother and Emily? I talked to my brother about it. I'm not mad at him. I'm more mad at Emily because it seems like she was laying it on really thick with him. And truthfully, he was drunk during the time. And so uh, um, it, it seemed like she was kind of taking advantage of him uh, just to get back at me. And I think that's pretty immature. Girls don't you, Girls do not do that. Girls well, don't take advantage right. of people. That's, that's as far as I, that's what I thought too. But apparently Emily does. Uh, did, you, did you ever meet my girlfriend, Lacey? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Mike, yeah. do you think Brit has hot dog legs? It's not a question of opinion. It's a fact. I'm sorry to jump on this question. I know it was for you. It's a fact. I do agree. Hot I will have legs. to say I agree. Hot dog legs. Yes. I, there's definitely a resemblance to... Hot dogs. Like, uh, yeah, some kind of a sausage. Well, I'm glad that we at least agreed on one thing. I like, like sausages. Hey, you know what? You can be yes. Me too. Um, that was actually the last question. Woo! We ended, Great. We ended on, Whoa! Uh, on a high note. Should we, should we take a live question? Um, no, we shouldn't. Okay. Sorry, guys. I tried to hook you up. but I'm the um, rule master. All of my rules and my three ring binder. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, and uh, keep watching Calypso. We're done. Do you yeah, watch whatever. Calypso or you like use Keep using Calypso. Calypso. Keep, Keep being watching a user. things on Calypso. Yeah. Were you just wearing a wig this whole time? Yeah, just um to be safe. Smart. About what? Just like not to have my identity get out there. Don't do that. Oh!